Okay, friends and family, this is SP with Just Ask SP. We are talking about dating and we come on every Sunday with one question and that's what we talk about. And the question for this Sunday is, is there a right way to date? And the answer to that is yes and the answer to that is no. But the answer, the right, correct answer is yes. It all depends on what you're wanting out of it at the end of the date. Do you want to call back? Do you want another date? Do you want to become into a relationship? Do you want a monogamous relationship? Or do you want maybe a commitment and maybe even marriage? Now, in your first date, in the first 30 minutes of that date, you should know where you and that person stands. So if you're looking for more than just a date, and and not not bringing it out at the front end of the day, but just keep it down below. You should know what you're wanting out of this day. So we're going to talk about the five essential things to a more committed date, a monogamous relationship or marriage or someone you can date for a long time and then go on to those things. So if you start off the right way to dating someone you can gain access to a more possibility of a long-term relationship if that's what you're um, going after. Now, if that is not what you're going after, then all means, you know, just, you know, play it as it goes. But we're, we're today talking about long-term relationship, monogamous relationship, commitments, and marriage. So there are five central things that we came up with today that will give you a better possibility to have those things at the end of your endeavor. And um, so first of all, we're going to talk about, num well, number one, and that will be first impressions. Now, first impressions is number one. And the reason why first impressions is number one is because a person's going to know if they want to deal with you, if they like you, if they don't like you, it may be your size. You may be, you know, like some women don't like to date short men or sometimes women don't like to, uh, uh, women don't like to date someone of this color or this shade or this race or nationality or something. Or men may not like to date a woman of this race or this color or this nationality or the size of you. It could be you're too thick or you're too small, you, you're too skinny or, you, or whatever. First impressions play in that role. Matter of fact, first impressions play in the full role of what's going to happen. I'm sorry about that, but what's going to happen down the road. Okay. And I have a little clip here from a professional that tells us that these things do happen. They do occur. It do exist. And there's nothing you can do about it. But there is one thing you can do is make sure your first impression is always good. Maybe the person you're meeting doesn't like Italians, blacks, whites, Jews, whatever, Asians, Puerto Ricans, Haitians. It doesn't matter. There are always going to be people that are going to have predetermined notions or ideas about you based on solely your skin color, your height, your all the physical characteristics that we can't change. Is this fair? No, it's not fair, but it's a fact. So you guys... This is why I was telling you first impressions is very essential. So the first thing about a first impression will always be, did you make it on the date on time? Yes. Did you make it on the date on time? Now, the rule about making it on to the date on time is... Come early, you're always on time. If you come on time, you're late. And if you're late, it's not important. See what I'm saying? If you if you come early, you're on time. If you come on time, you're late. And if you're late, don't worry about it. Okay? It works. Okay. So first thing is... Impression, first impression, 
The second thing is to always show up on time. And the third thing here is confidence. Sometimes people can see your confidence without you saying, I'm a very confident person. You don't have to tell people you're confident. They can tell by you the way you present yourself, you know, uh, you know, your hair is done, your eye contact, um, just just by your your physical body language, you know, the way you stand, be confident and always know what you want to talk about or know what you like. Tell them. You know what you like. And we talked about that in the last video last Sunday. So if you don't remember what we talked about, go back over there in last Sunday's video and, and watch that. And so the fourth thing, give them that eye contact. Always eye contact because eyes don't lie. They don't lie. If you really like a person you can be, you can, without saying anything, just the eye contact and a smile on your face, you know, eye contact and a smile will tell a person what's going on in, in your mind and what you expected. Because if you do not give them eye contact, people assume that you're either lying or you're hiding something. And the fifth thing is be yourself. Don't don't be nervous and enjoy. Enjoy the day. You know, smile. And if you want to laugh, laugh. And, and if, if you just need a hug, get the hug. And if you want to share something, share things. And always laughing when there is a reason to laugh is always good. And you can always look forward to having that 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 number one. And you'll get that phone call asking for the second date. And that's what we're here to do, to bring people together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, hit that subscription button. And next Sunday, we'll come with another question. And if you have a question, leave it down below and I'll get to it. Bye.